S-33 has been operating near Attu for around six days now. The plan is to patrol Attu for one more day and then make our way back towards Kiska before returning home to Dutch Harbor. The boat only has four fish left. I plan to make them all count. Radar operator has picked up a new contact, another aircraft coming in fast. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here and welcome back aboard S-33. We have an aircraft coming in pretty much dead ahead. We have them on radar, but we are going to dive to avoid this guy. First, let's uh, check how deep it is. 929 feet, we are good. Emergency dive. Keep our eyes peeled. He was coming. His initial bearing was 022 degrees. So, oh, I thought I saw something. Yep, there it is. Looks like a twin-engined aircraft. Maybe a Betty? I, it's honestly extremely hard to tell. I'm glad we actually got a glimpse of it. All right, we're going down quick, though. All right, go into the command room. Watch our dive passing 25 feet. Looking good. This is a perfect time to do a hydrophone check. Let's man battle stations. Alright, perfect. And we are going to start leveling out around here, right? 150 feet. And wait for any... <laughs> depth charges that this uh, Japanese aircraft may drop. We've been finding more and more enemy aircraft as we linger around add to. I have a feeling they're on to us. Let's reduce speed and we will change course. Let's head north for a little bit. Now we wait for bombs. Let's go to the map. Yeah, I have nothing here. We'll see if he drops anything. We dived rather quickly, so that is good. And you may notice uh, our patrol area here. We're going to patrol around Attu one more time before changing course and heading down towards Kiska for a little bit before going all the way back home to Dutch. Uh, this was a rather successful patrol, all things considered. I mean, we destroyed three warships, uh, two CH-28 class sub chasers, and then this... Uh, this other destroyer escort here so pretty happy with the results we have four fish left all are in the tubes as can be seen there looks like that betty is not going to drop anything let's do a quick hydrophone check make sure nothing's out there that of course at 180 was our own engines okay sonar warship Closing. Bearing. Interesting. Zero. The same direction, really, as that uh, Japanese bomber. I'm sure they know we're here. 15 nautical miles, more or less. Hmm. Okay, let's go up to PD and take a look. It definitely sounds like another little rinky-dink uh, sub-chaser. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's close in on this target. S-33 has turned to approach the new sound contact. After a few minutes, it was revealed that there was not one, not two, but three warships heading towards our position. I am now certain that Betty radioed our position in. We just popped up our periscope here, and we have a Japanese warship. It looks like an armed tugboat or something similar to that. Uh, heading straight our way, bearing 320. We are currently in a turn because there are multiple contacts, and there they are. 
There's two more out there at around 300. More like 295, heading our direction as well. I have a feeling the Japanese aircraft uh, definitely tipped these guys off here. I don't know. What, what the heck could this one be? Lock on target. We have three ships in front of us and three torpedoes. Can't say I really want to get in a scrap with the uh, formation of two out there. Okay. It's going to be small. Let's flip through here. This guy's pretty unique. Yeah, like this. Corvette Sub Chaser, 870 tons. Rig for silent running. He's getting pretty close. Let's recognize this. Uh, hard to port. Hard to port. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sweep it. Hard to port. Down scope. Oh boy, he's close. I don't even know if I should take a shot. Maybe best just to uh, go down to a more reasonable depth to avoid detection. Yeah, I don't think our boat, we're not going to be able to swing around quick enough. Which is unfortunate. That's okay, he's only 870 tons. Yeah, yeah he's already passed, oh boy. I'll check on his friends. You know what? We're just not going to. Down scope. Down to 150 feet. Rather be safe than sorry. Currently going one knot. Let's make, uh, go two knots. We should be okay. What the hell was that? Periscope depth. Did y'all hear that? It was an explosion. We're already at 62 feet. We're being pinged. Yeah, down to 150 feet. That's what it is, okay. Oh man. The pinging noise in this mod, I love it. It is very eerie. Okay, down quicker. Get below that thermal layer. Well, folks, it's been around 30 minutes or so, and honestly, the enemy warships have not been in the right neighborhood at all. They have been dropping depth charges and all that good stuff, but they are not even close. They're back behind us now. Raise our scope. Yeah, there we go. There's one of them right there, and then there are the other two. Let's lower our scope <laughs> a little bit. Um... This one at around uh, 205 degrees seems to be the largest of the bunch. 
Uh, she is quite large. I wouldn't mind uh, torpedoing that one. That looks like another CH-28 sub chaser. And then, of course, the guy that initially picked us up. They are still pretty close. Definitely too close for comfort. But I did want to pop up and take a look at these guys. But scope is going back down. And we're going back down to 150 feet. That seems to be rather safe. Because they are, you know, still pretty close. I just wanted to give a little update. They're around 2,000 yards away. I could attempt to torpedo some of them, but uh, with the way they're wiggling around conducting their search, it's more than likely <laughs> going to miss. Let's continue our course, and uh, actually, we don't want to continue our course exactly. That's going to put the enemies in our baffles. Um, let's just start heading southeast. That should work for our purposes. Sonar contact. Warship. Closing. Bearing. One. Seven. Five. It seems the enemy warships Nine. have regained contact. Propeller noises are directly above. After being hunted for over four hours, it seems the enemy warships have given up. It looks like S-33 is going to get away without scratching her paint. Well folks, it is currently just shy of 1900 hours and it seems like we have broken contact. We have one lone contact back at the original hunt area where we were detected, but it seems we are all good. We're starting to get some CO2 build up, but it's all right. The notification kicks on rather early. Let's go up to periscope depth. We can secure from silent running. Our men have been at battle stations for, you know, over four hours now. Um, we'll secure battle stations once we sweep the surface and uh, make sure the coast is clear. Let's watch. We were hanging out at 180 feet for the majority of that. There must have been a rather strong thermal layer today as well. The thermal layer was at around 70 feet, I think, uh, is when they told me. Um, I'm probably wrong there, but it, it was fairly shallow. Okay, and we are rising. Well, uh, that was quite exciting. That's the first time we've been hunted. They didn't hunt us too aggressively. Um, I mean, they were in the area for a while, sure, but we did not get depth charged at all. Although they were <laughs> dropping them in the water, yeah, just in the wrong spots. Okay, up scope. Let's take a look still quite bright out by the looks of things okay do a scan so far so good okay yeah I'm not seeing anything I think we are good to surface the boat yeah down scope surface Surface. You ready to all four engines? Stand by the charge batteries. You need some rise on the plane. 
Hopefully there's not an aircraft or something waiting for us. That would be less than ideal. All ahead standard. Alright. Should be up now. There we go. We are up. Hello, world. Alright. Secure from battle stations. Good job, boys. Secure from battle stations. Okay, and we are good. We will continue on our patrol. I do remember one of the sub chasers heading off to the east, so it is possible we may encounter him again. Um, we'll see if we actually do, but I believe there's still two searching up here. Okay, well, that was, uh, that was quite exciting, I got to admit. Let's keep on uh, going. Let's keep on patrolling. After less than 30 minutes on the surface, our air search radar has already picked up a new contact, and it's close. Okay, we have an aircraft coming in pretty quickly right behind us. Can I get an update on it? Bearing 153, 2100 yards. Can I get someone on the flat gun, please? This is probably a mistake. <laughs> uh, engage, fire at will, please. Let me see, where is he at? There he is, I see him. Yeah, let's inject some excitement into this episode. Yes, sir. Our deport. Our yes, deport, sir. please. Alright, start opening up. Another twin engine aircraft, probably a Betty. He's diving at us. And we hit him! Oh my gosh, and he's pulling up quite dramatically. Is the pilot killed? I can't fire. Is he going down? Yes, sir. Hard to port. Hard to port, please. Yes, Hard to port. I don't know. We hit him pretty good there. Yeah, he has quite the fire. I'm impressed with that, actually. <laughs> I was not expecting uh, those sorts of results. However, it does look like he may get away, which is fine. Okay, well that was that was fun and dangerous and stupid, all all at once. Yeah, that is quite the fire. All right, rudder amidships, time to go down. Rudder amidship. Down to a hundred feet. One, zero, four. <laughs> Oh, brother. Alright, continue on our course. Obviously not a recommended course of action. <laughs> that was pretty stupid. We're lucky he didn't have any bombs or didn't drop any bombs. It's possible he wasn't carrying any just to increase his, you know, scouting range. Um, we have not been on the surface long before we were, you know, we found another plane. And definitely seems like the Japanese are on high alert in this area after we have destroyed multiple of their vessels. Uh, which is completely understandable. What is that? Uh oh, that plane's coming back around. Okay. I don't know if it's that plane, but it is, it is a plane. I guess we picked it up on radar right as we went under. Okay, in that case, down to 150. And we wait. See if he drops anything on us. Yeah, at least we damaged one of them. Oh, wrong button. Ooh, jeez. That shook us a bit. That shook us a bit. Okay. <laughs> uh, a little jump scare. The boat's in okay shape, though. I mean, I don't think that, that hurt us at all. It was just surprising. Yeah, hole's fine. Everything's okay. Alright. I bet he dropped it pretty shallow. Okay. Well, that's uh, that was fun. That was exciting. 
Uh, we're gonna hang out here for a little bit longer, I suppose. I don't see any reason to go back up there for a while. Well, everybody, that's going to do it for today's episode. I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.